Hi, my name's John from BBG Carpentry. Today we're going to be talking about building a strong and safe deck. There's three different types of deck you can build. There's a floating deck, which basically it sits on patio stones or it sits on a deck block, so it's not actually dug into the ground and has a footing. The only issue you could possibly get with this is susceptible to ground movement and frost heave and something like that. Uh, the second method of building a deck is attaching it directly to the house using a ledger board. This is a very good way of doing it. There's also a third method which is an independent deck. So it still has a footing, it's still dug into the ground, it's still solid but it's not actually attached to the house. One of the key things is what type of fasteners are you going to be using? Are they compliant with pressure treated lumber? Are they corrosion resistant? ACQ? Are they hot dip galvanized? These are, do you need these fasteners to stop corrosion and make your deck last a long time? It's important for a homeowner to educate themselves on uh, b before the actual work begins. Basically, you can go to a, a box store and you can buy yourself a book on decks, or you can go on the internet and research decks. Just get an idea of the different processes and how it's built, how the footings are done, how the framing is done, how the joist hangers go, all the different stages of building a deck. If you've got a little bit of an idea on how that deck is built, you're going to end up with a much better product and the right person. Another thing to look for is that your contractor, when he's cutting the pressure treated lumber, applies an end cut treatment. This is a chemical that seals the end of the sponge joists just make sure that no insects or any rot can penetrate through the vulnerable area of the end cut of a piece of wood. Okay, so constructing your deck, one of the most important things in constructing a deck is the attachment of the ledger. A ledger basically is a piece of wood which links the whole frame of your deck to the house. It's very important that the ledger is attached properly. Typically the best way of doing this on a brick veneered house is to use a half inch galvanized bolt which goes directly through the framing, through the brick and into the frame of the house. When you're building railings one thing you should watch out for is the height of your deck. Typically if it's over 5 foot 10 your guard rail requires to be 42 inches. If it's under 5 foot 10, 36 inches. Another thing to consider for railings is the pickets. When installing the pickets, whether they're metal pickets, whether they're wooden pickets, there must be no more than four inches between each picket. A few things you can do to make sure your deck is safe is literally just check your deck for flex or bounce. Just bounce up and down on it and see if there's a lot of give. If there's a lot of give, you could have rot within your joists, so it's a good time to replace it. Another thing you can do is check your fastenings and your joist hangers for corrosion. If they're badly rusted or corroded, it could be time for another deck. Another thing you can do is check the actual footings of your deck, the concrete. Is it crumbling? Is it cracking? If it's cracking, you could get water penetration. And lastly, probably one of the most important things you can do is check your railings. Literally give them a shake. If they start to shake too much and they're loosening or they're falling apart, it's time for a new deck.